Oh. Come on. Welcome back to Iron Chef. The ultimate battle of duck is about to commence between the challenger Mitsuo Hazama and the Iron Chef Hiroyuki Sakai. Duck, a favorite of the Iron Chef, and also something the challenger has studied inside and out, what famed dishes will these two create today? All right, the opening gong signifying the start of this cook-off. Both chefs are at the ingredient stand taking careful inventory of which birds they'll be using tonight. The heads left on these ducks is a sign of respect to the chef so they can tell whether the duck died as a hero or a coward, which they believe changes the flavor profile of the bird significantly. All of these ducks are called blue heads here in Japan because of their inability to understand long division, and also because of their blue heads. Fukui-san! Yes, go ahead, Ota. I quickly asked the Iron Chef what he had in mind for today's ingredient, and he said, I'm just going to clumsily drop it on the cutting board a few times and see what comes to mind. Okay, Ota, thank you. And now the challenger seems to be writing something down. Yes, it seems that he's writing an apology letter to the Iron Chef's family in case the challenger defeats him so badly that the Iron Chef enters cardiac arrest. That's some good sportsmanship there from the challenger. The Iron Chef preparing his instruments seems to be starting at the beginning phases of his dishes. And now the challenger is creating an inspiration board of all the places he'd like to visit on vacation. A real stand-up fellow he is, but after a considerable amount of time wasted, it seems the challenger has finally remembered that this is a cooking competition and has abandoned his inspiration board in lieu of finally doing some fucking cooking. The Hazama family is a highly decorated and celebrated family across Japan. Pictured here is the challenger's grandfather, a legendary chef in his own right, Mr. Mr. Saichi Hazama. And he san Yes, go ahead. I asked the challenger if he had any Hazama family wisdom he will implore in tonight's challenge, and he told me that he will be chanting a mantra that his grandfather told him to remember before attending Iron Chef, which goes, If you don't do well on the show, into your face my fist will go. All right, and here the Iron Chef seems to be working on a fried duck recipe, we will soon find out. Meanwhile, the challenger has taken to filling a pot of vegetable oil with two duck breasts and serving it at a wonderfully chilly 30 degrees Fahrenheit. A bold strategy. And now here comes the challenger with some foie gras, a very expensive, luxurious cut of duck, and thankfully he's consistent as he soaks this delicacy in even more freezing cold oil. The Iron Chef pan frying some more cuts of duck here, seems like he's added some spices and is now about to add some white onion. Meanwhile, the challenger has trapped a living baby duck inside this steel canister here and oh yes, yes, he is crushing it to death to extract its succulent, still living juices. We'll have to wait to see if he'll mix this into a delicious soup or simply serve it as a pre-dinner cocktail. The Iron Chef adding a little heat to his meat, flipping the prepared birds against the open flame to add a bit of coloring and flavor. On the other side of the kitchen, the challenger has realized he accidentally added too much water to his soup, and he is now soaking it up with rolled up towels that he stole from the men's room. Back again to the Iron Chef. Smells good, seemingly hearty dish, can't wait to taste it, but the challenger appears to be using gold flakes in his dish. Fukui-san! Yes, go ahead. I asked the challenger about the gold flakes in his dish, and he told me that he got so excited stirring the ingredients that he dropped his gold watch into the bowl and forgot to fish it out. So now the dish will have an exquisite gold color. Sounds wonderful, and with that, we're gonna have to cut to a quick commercial break. Stay tuned for more Iron Chef, but first, here's a sneak peek of our new new Food Network show, Guy Fieri silently cooks spaghetti to sad music. <laughs> 